Okay guys, so right here is one of my new Lego houses um, I've created. It's white and red and a little bit of black, that line right there. But that goes along with it just fine. So this is my new Lego house um, I built. It's pretty cool. It's not big. Well, it is a little big, but it's not too big. It's kind of small. So here's the front. And the back door's open. Let me close that. And then here's the front door. Put a little handle there. It's just one of those slope pieces. It leads inside. Um, I got this brick here. It's flat right here and then um, four studs here. I had one of those so I used it. Because it had to be flat so this door could at least open. And then some steps right here leading to the front yard. And then I got some fencing here for this porch. Just a bunch of one by one bricks as columns for this another fence. And then a window with some shutters. There like that. And right here on the side of the house, I got a flower. Those are the simple flowers. I believe they're the older ones, I'm not sure. There's a tree. I like these trees. I'd prefer these out of any trees. Lego by Lego. Um, I like these better than the trees that are made out of bricks. I like these better. These And these make great Christmas trees. Um, if you're trying to make a house around the holidays um, with a Christmas tree in it, you could use one of these and probably put some studs in between there. Between these cracks. Oops, it fell over. And this is on a 32 by 32 stud green base plate. Um, there's another tree over here. It's kind of bent. So you can take this roof off. Ah. I did put some bricks under here. Ah, there you go. There's the bottom to hold it in. It's a brick roof. It's not, um, roofing tiles. I don't have enough of those. This is the big roof, and it's solid, too. I used yellow bricks inside of it, though, because if I used a red, I would have ran out. So here, I used flat pieces, and then these. That's what was making it hard to get off, is those, because those make it stay on there. But it also makes it a little harder to get off. So it's just one story. Um, got a couch in here. I don't know what else I'd put in here. Um, I believe it is 12 by 11 studs of space, so that's pretty big. I mean, it's not that big, but whatever. So there's the inside of the house. It's all white with brown, I mean, not brown, black doors, door frames, and clear doors. Because clear is not really all I have. Or my other option here would be these these would be my other option and i really don't like these doors and if i had them here they would not be able to open whatsoever because this corner would be hitting that stud so i don't like these doors i'm not a big fan of them i like the look of them that's really all i like i don't like how they are with those corners they do make no new doors like this that go into these, but I don't have that yet. Mm. So this is pretty much my small Lego house. And I did put flat bricks going over like this. It's pretty nice. So you can just pop this roof back on. There is a one stud overhang, but that's okay. And it is an odd number from here all the way back there, but that's fine. So that's the front of the house. Now we're going to look at the back. Didn't do a lot with the back. I did put a little bit of railing here. That's all. Some concrete. I know these are two different grays. The old gray and the um, new gray. And I don't know if I have any new gray 2x6 um, bricks. So I just use that. I might change that. And then door back here. Back door. It's fine. Um, I 
to put anything here. I might put something back here in this backyard or something. I don't know what, but maybe something. Now I'm getting um, more Legos soon um, to build bigger houses, hopefully, and better. This one's not the best I built, but it is pretty good. I mean, at least it's color. What, um, it's only like two colors. Not random. So there's that. Thank you for watching.